while a new season always offers its usual crop of familiar faces in new places such as David Boreana's in SEAL Team and Leia Remini reuniting with King of Queens co-star Kevin James on Kevin Can Wait, here's a rundown of some new faces whose profiles stand to raise in the new fall season. Sarah got on Sarah Gaten at Sundance in 2016. J.L. Clendon in Los Angeles Times where you can see Sarah's Irish immigrant Grace Marks and alias Grace November 3rd, a miniseries written by indie favorite Sarah Polly that adapts Margaret Atwood's 1996 historical fiction novel in a co-production of Netflix and Canada's CBC, where you may have seen her in addition to 2014's Dracula Untold. Gaten appeared opposite James Franco in the Hulu adaptation of Stephen King's 11.22.63, Why She Matters The 19th century story of Grace Marks holds a similar place in the Canadian imagination is Lizzie Borden's does in the U.S., and Atwood has found renewed topicality of late in the wake of Hula's celebrated adaptation of her novel, The Handmaid's Tale, Brandon Michael Hall, Brandon Michael Hall in ABC's The Mayor, premiering October 3rd. Tony Rivetti ABC via app where you can see him as the title character on ABC's The Mayor, a half-hour comedy produced by Hamilton co-star and musician David Diggs about a hip-hop artist who runs for office for publicity reasons and actually wins where you may have seen him as Julian in TBS dryly comic millennial murder mystery search party, why he matters because given Diggs' recent run, which also includes his own inventive hip-hop project clipping, the series has potential. Plus, it might be refreshing to watch the results of an unexpected victory by a political outsider that has no real-world repercussions. Full coverage Fall 2017 TV Preview Frankie Shaw Frankie Shaw, director-writer for SMILF Photograph at Sundance in 2016. J.L. Clendon in Los Angeles Times where you can see her writing, directing and starring in the Showtime comedy series SMILF November 5th, which was picked up by the network after her short film of the same name won the jury prize at Sundance in 2015, where you may have seen her if UDIDNT happened to be at Sundance that year, she appeared on the first season of Mr. Robot as Shayla, Elliot's troubled drug-dealing neighbor and part-time romantic interest and on Amazon's short-lived 2016 series Good Girls Revolt as researcher Naomi. Why she matters because the series' odoristic vision has a similarly smart, funny and raw feeling as FX's Louis, except about young single motherhood and because it may also yield a fresh perspective on its South Boston setting by not involving a Wahlberg or an Affleck. Robin Thetero Bentheed of The Rundown Bet where you can see her hosting her own late-night show The Rundown, which is co-produced by Chris Rock and Due on Bet Tuesday, October 10. Where you may have seen her as a writer and the funniest cast member of her previous gig, The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore, where for the first year and a half she also served as head writer. Why She Matters Already Having Broken One Glass Ceiling as the first and only black woman head writer for a late-night comedy series, Feet will also be the first to have her own show since network made Monique in 2011. Promising a mix of pop culture news with the by now requisite political material, Feed has the voice, chops and experience to put a distinctive stamp on a crowded late-night field. Shazad Latif Shazad Latif, from Star Trek Discovery at Comic-Con 2017. J.L. Clendon in Los Angeles Times where you can see him as Lt. Ash Tyler, a security officer in Star Trek Discovery September 24. Latif was originally cast as a Klingon, but this spring wound up switching sides in the Trek universe's latest televised conflict. Where you may have seen him as an Indian-English Henry Jekyll in Penny Dreadful, Showtime's impressionistic take on the classics of gothic horror. Why he matters because in terms of television legacies, they don't get much more revered than Star Trek, so the stakes are high. But with its history is one of the few franchises to choose utopia over dystopia when depicting humanity's future, here scheduled to be roughly 10 years before the original mission of Capt. Kirk and the Enterprise, if nothing else it will be a change of pace. This story is part of the Times 2017 Fall Television Preview. Check out the complete coverage here. Chris.BartonAtLawTimes.com Follow me over here at Chris Barton. Also the Dose and Don'ts of Reboots Dynasty Edition.